Hi, welcome to my video. I'm Jennifer Roberts. You're catching me on my YouTube channel, True Divine 44. You can also get me on my Facebook page, True Divine 44, and BitChute channel at True Divine 44. Any likes, shares, subscribes, comments, tweets, greatly, greatly appreciated. I love all of you for doing that thus far. It's helping me sustain, bringing in new clients, which helps me look after my family. Uh, and right now, that hasn't been the easiest. So that kind of thing just doing that kind of act is um, worth so much. So thank you for taking the effort to do that and just being here yourself. Your presence is more than enough. So this is where I do the daily content to help support, guide and inspire those who want to be, need to be supported, guided and inspired. Take what resonates as it is general. There is no offense if you ditch the rest or ditch it all. Some readings, there might be part of it that resonates with you. Other readings, there may be all of it. And some, there may be none. It is general. So just take what helps you and leave what does not. Don't try and bend a reading to your will um, because then you can attract in things in the reading that you didn't really need to attract in. You just manifest it in through bending that reading. So with wisdom, listen to me with wisdom and your own discernment. So this is the 4th of February 2021. And so <laughs> we're in such interesting times, aren't we? I've seen the, um, you know, the virtue signaling going on yesterday so much and probably today uh, where we are supposedly, you know, honoring certain dead when really that dead is propaganda or it's propagandized. Um, you know, they never let a good thing go to waste, a good thing on their side. So it's something that, you know, I'm just having to swallow and look at and think, because that's about all we can do at that kind of thing. So for the 4th of February 2021, Mit Mit, you're lying right on the cards with your little stubby tail. Okay, right, I need to get them from under you. So we'll do the bottom of the deck first and hopefully she'll move. So we have got the eight of pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. So this is speaking of uh, what, what, what you've achieved, what you've built up. Um, it's taken time to reflect on that. It's taken time to, to pause on that and see which way is best to go forward. It's, it's um, the number eight, it's that eternal cycle, but you know, which end of the infinity, the number eight, are you going to come out at? Is it going to keep growing? Or are you worried about losing financially? Um, take this note to take a pause, although um, it might feel counterproductive uh, to take a pause when you're worried about finance or worried about a business that you have built up and really discern uh, the direction that you want to go in for your sustainability, for your future plans, for uh, you and the way that you are able to live, and maybe even your family or the people around you, even your employees to a certain extent. This is where, you know, um, I'm, I'm putting the energy out there and begging for that, you know, in within people to rise up and recognize if, if you haven't recognized quite clearly already that all of these systems, all of these governments are not there to serve you anymore. Uh, the conditioning of you having hope in them and, and safety in them, it has been proved over and over again that you are not going to get that help. And actually, it is one of the huge agendas to shut down small businesses, shut down independent businesses, which we have seen so much of, don't be one of those, you know, if we are going to fight this, if we are going to change the direction of this, then we need to stand up, we should have been doing this from the start. So for a lot of you, this direction is to open up, you know, even if there are the fear of fines involved, you know, fight them later. Because if we can stand up and still be sustainable and not dependent on the government and these globalists, then at least we have a chance to fight these kinds of fines or just indeed rip up these kinds of fines in a fair and just manner. Right now, by doing as we are told, we are not um, taking authority over our own sustainability the governments are supposed to be there, supposed to be there, but never were. 
to serve the people. That it's been a big lie. They are not. They are there to puppet, manipulate, and control the people. And so, yes, there have been long periods in many countries of freedom, of victory, but that is the narcissistic cycle of this low frequency magic, the highs and the lows. And always the lows are somehow um, appropriated to the fault of the people, to the fault of the masses and not the government. How many times have you seen real fair justice happening within government construct against governmental bodies? Not very much. And so this is where we see that we have to change things. And to change things, we have to change the mindset that would say that we can rely on anything outside of ourselves for our sustainability in the physical reality. So take a real poise and look at this and see how you feel you can go forward. But for a lot of you, it will take that level of bravery, it will take that level of um, wisdom and discernment. And so on the bottom of the other deck, we do have three of swords. This would speak to um, the, the financial worry, uh, the hurt. Uh, some people may find that they have their, um, it confirmed for them that they have been stabbed in the back, particularly in relationships and in business partnerships or indeed certain contracts. Uh, this is where this wound hurts. You can see by this card, it's very simple, but very, very, you know, ouch. And this is where uh, the thoughts impregnate that heart and you have that heartbreak moment, that heartbreaking moment, that heartbreaking time. And so I think it really is for a lot of people uh, down to uh, physical sustainability, financial um, abundance, financial freedom, and certain people uh, reflecting on what is above them in the government have taken advantage of or stabbed many that have had their back in the back a lot. And so this is where you might have the rollout of that or indeed the confirmation of that which of course feels awful, but there's a way to get through it. There is always a way and the gifts within it are that you will not be faced with this lesson and challenge again, if you can take that time to look and gain wisdom of whatever lesson it is that is occurring via this process, via this experience in your life. Uh, so we've got as the rest of the reading goes, we've got the judgment card. So aye, aye, aye. this is calling us forward onto our path. And often when we've strayed off our path, there will be certain things that um, hurt, that, that we attract in a lot of unnecessary uh, hurts, wounds, emotional uh, disruption. And so a lot of you might be finding that you have been having this sort of, um, when you go into a stream and you kick up the waterbed and it goes all murky and, and you're kicking up the dust, you're kicking up the particles and it goes all muddy and murky and you can't quite see your way forward. It makes you stray off your path that little bit more, but then there's that point of heartbreak. There's that point of stop, this hurts. Um, in particular with words, in particular with actions that have occurred. And so this is the Five of Cups to clarify this judgment card. And this is the what if, if only. Um, you might be at this point where you know you've strayed from your path, what you felt you were being called to go towards, who you were being called to go towards, what you were being called to go towards. Uh, but you allowed yourself to be distracted, maybe detained in a certain mindset of how things should look and you um, conformed yourself to that, knowing inside you had this drive or this pull or this push to go elsewhere. And so this five of cups moment is, if you look at that, it looks like the Loch Ness monster. It's the, um, the feeling like a fleet in chance. You know, you catch that, you catch a glimpse of that Loch Ness monster in a tiny minuscule fleet in chance and and it's that um you can't quite grasp on to now what you feel you have lost and so there's this 
sorrow, there's this despair with the five of cups. And this is where in traditional decks, you see two cups standing upright and three cups spilt over. But the cloaked figure in other cards is concentrating on the three spilt cups and not turning around to look at the two cups that are standing upright. There's a certain lesson in this. And in that five of cups moment, you can either choose to keep trying to catch a glimpse in your emotional state, in your mind's eye of that Loch Ness monster, or you can choose to take off that dark cloak and turn around and realize that if I stay in this moment of this five of cups, there are gonna be other things later down the line that again, I feel the call of this judgment card, but I don't go towards it. I'm not brave enough to go towards it. So I'll have even more to be in sorrow for. I'll have even more to feel victimized for. The wisdom is then you would describe to yourself, you know, there's more to life. There are other chances. And instead of trying to get a glimpse of this Loch Ness monster within these three spilt cups, you would turn around to see that the lessons you have learned through this heartache, through this hard work, are actually going to save you from a lot of more, lot more heartache, a lot more hard work. You can work less and gain more. You can be in relationships fully with people, honestly with people, and have trust. Um, you can trust in yourself and your own wisdom, knowing the lessons that you've learned previously that put you in this five of cups moment. Um, the problem is with a lot of people, especially with all of this external low frequency magic, a lot of people get um, almost addicted to this five of cups moment of staring at these three cups, willing them to stand up, but they've already emptied. They, they are um, full, but they're full of regrets. They're full of the what ifs, they're full of dismay, they're full of the if onlys. But there's two cups standing upright. Those two cups representing your divinity to me, the divine feminine and divine masculine within and the wisdom of balance and of uh, life itself, knowing that life goes on and to reach past that five of cups going into the six of cups, which would be the growth of both the emotional state and the mental state. And so the next card is the high priestess, another major arcana. This is where we speak about the divine feminine, divine masculine, the yin and the yang, the balance. This is the, the, um, the wisdom of the hidden. And this is why it's the high priestess. The divine feminine to all intense purposes has been hidden to the consciousness of us for a very, very long time. And so with that, we have, I've got ink on my hands now. So with that, we have this um, re-emergence of the hidden um, and truths coming to the fore. And so this thing, these things in the occult, in the hidden, in the shadowy aspects of self, in the shadowy aspects of your external are coming to the, the front, coming to the mind's eye or being shown to you clearly. Uh, this is where this spiritual knowledge can help you grow from this situation of this five of cups and actually lead you even closer to your path that you feel led to go on because of these extra lessons that you have learned. Nothing needs to be wasted here. Everything can be gained here. Um, it speaks of the four of pentacles to clarify this high priestess. And this is where... Um, Let's see. For some of you, this is where um, you've tried to cling on to old constructs. You've tried to cling on and be miserly to the things that you've become accustomed to or just comfortable with. And you've had this fear of the shadowy aspects of what is hidden, of the truths. And so, but it also is a truth that will shake your foundations for others of you, or indeed both aspects of people, the people, but the, the, it's something that is that is of truth, that speaks to your spirit directly, one way or the other, um, shakes up the foundations that you have built up thus far. And again, leads you back to this moment of, you know, what have you been working so hard to maintain? Is there a better way? Is there something else? Uh, so 
those truths could be whatever for yourself, but speaking of the next cards, I think for a lot of people, it will be related to this. If not yourself, you will maybe be helping somebody guide their way through this. Uh, so we've got the Queen of Cups, which is in reverse. Ah, so this is to be wary of um, self-indulgence, overindulgence of a um, of a frivolous nature. Uh, so it's as if a lot of you have hit the wall, realized you've gone off your path, realized you've been around the wrong people, realized maybe you've been working towards something that didn't resonate with you. You've had this certain pain, heartbreak, truth come out, um, but and it shakes. It's, it's shaken your foundations, uh, but we have that. Um, so it's shaken your foundations and it's almost as if, you know that old um, adage that you break up from a long-term relationship or a very intense relationship and you go and change your hair, change your clothes, change your look. It, it, women do it a lot. Um, and they'll go out all of a sudden when they don't usually go out very much. And, you know, they'll maybe have a one night stand when they've never had one before. It's that almost have hit the wall of like, OK, stuff it all, stuff it all. I'm going to do everything opposite to what I've been doing. But it's reactionary. It's not done in wisdom. And so this is where this Queen of Cups is warning us particularly women to be wary of giving yourself over to that that doesn't really resonate with you it's just resonating in your reactionary stance um so to take time to really weigh that up and try and look with foresight as to how those actions will make you feel or what the ramifications of those actions will be later down the line when all is said and done when things have calmed down we have the three of cups in reverse to clarify this queen of cups in reverse so this is speaking maybe <clears throat> for some of you uh, uh you know threesome type you know uh <laughs> threesome type activity uh some things that you've never done before but you know you're gonna you're gonna stick it to the man or whatever or whoever or anything because of the mood that you're in and do something completely opposite that does not resonate with you really but you know that shadowy side of self that has been hidden and locked away for too long and that walking off your path and feeling hinged into something that wasn't feeding your soul wasn't feeding your spirit for too long you have this reactionary moment and a lot of you will regret it. A lot of you will bring you back to this three of swords, this reckoning with self and um, at first blaming others for that pain and blaming others for the actions taken. But then later down the line, you will realize that this pain is all yours to have and all yours to keep. Uh, because no matter what happens in the external, we need to be in charge of ourselves. We need to be in charge of our emotional body. We need to be in charge of our reactions and our poise and our grace and our wisdom and the actions that we take from that space rather than the reactions that we take from the reactionary space of self. So that's interesting. Others of you be wary of energies like this that would try, don't push those cards off, Mitt Mitt, you naughty um that would try to entice you in um to something that will cause a great deal of trouble for you later down the line um <clears throat> be wary of um groups of people today and the energies that those groups of people may hold uh that all is not as it seems with a couple of members of those groups that i can see and feel and some of them are family members. And so where this would usually be a togetherness card, a celebratory card, something to be happy about, a, a togetherness, tribe, family. Uh, this is where, you know, you see, you see the trickery of those that would try to connect with you emotionally. Uh, and you see the, the reality of what they're really about 
later down the line, which again causes this heartache. But now I've told you about it, that doesn't have to happen. You can use this to navigate your day. You can use this to recognize these energies within yourself and within others. And if it resonates with you, if you feel these energies cropping up through your day, well, now you know. Call me your tarot weather lady, because now you can say, ah, oh, yeah, I don't need to go down that road. Thank you very much. I can learn these lessons and process these things without you teaching me or giving me a live example. Thank you very much. Jenny said so. So, yeah, be careful today of certain energies flying about, uh, you know, and I've got to say it because it is coming up in my mind. Um, be careful who you share sexual energy with uh, in general, but right now in particular, there's a lot of low frequency magic flying around. I know I keep saying it, but I feel it. I see it. I feel it. I know they're doing it. Within that, uh, there's a lot of spiritual, as well as physical, there's a lot of spiritual STDs in that these attachments that you make, um, they may seem harmless and frivolous, and maybe some of them are, but right now there is so much um, uh, there is so much transference, melding, molding, bumping into all of these different realms into one. There are so many things that are being introduced that are of the hidden of that high priestess um, that like sexual energy and like um, attaching themselves via that activity. And so if you're connecting with somebody who isn't of high frequency and wisdom also, you don't know what is already attached to them. And indeed, uh, they are out there seeking people who are welcoming them in either through naivety, their low frequency actions, their promiscuity, or all of the above and more. But there's definitely an energy to be super careful, always careful of that, but super careful of that at the minute. Um, for things that you don't want hanging around, attached to you, inside of your spirit, inside of your soul, um, creating havoc in your life, basically. So be very discerning about who you connect with in that way, uh, in particular today, but in general, always. So. That had to be said for whoever needs to hear it. Um, you certainly don't need to leave a comment, but you can. Uh, but this is of a personal nature and there's no corner I won't explore if it comes up for me psychically or through tarot or energies. I promise you that. Um, so that's some things to be aware of. Um, the other markers, you'll see these energies cropping up through your day and you'll be able to say, nope, nope, nope and no and you know just have yourself a nice ritualistic bath instead so i hope that helps you navigate your day to the highest potential um the business wise side figure away open up be be strong with your intent that you will be protected from anything in the external um coming at you but make that stand, open up, start making your own money uh, that you can't trust in any of the systems to look after you and your family appropriately. Uh, so do what you need to do to create your sustainability. That's a must. I've been saying that all the way through. In fact, if we'd been brave enough en masse to do that from the beginning, which I realized was difficult to do because they're very good at this low frequency magic, they're very good at hiding behind the headlines. They're very good at puppeting people's fears and emotions. Uh, but if we'd managed to be brave enough en masse to stay open from the start, we would have actually unearthed a lot of corruption still, but we would have actually halted their plans. We wouldn't be this far down the line in their narrative right now. So think of that when I mentioned the Five of Cups also. How long do you keep going on like this? 
how long do you keep doing and staring at the same thing, wishing for a different answer to crop up from it? When those cups are empty, they are, they are not fruitful. Uh, so yeah, definitely take note of that. If you would like a personal reading, I delve into business readings also. If you'd like a personal reading for love, for general, uh, just to have some kind of connection to, to, you know, ancestral energies or whatever it is, you can book a reading or you can get any spiritual coaching or any energy workout sessions at truedivinemedia at gmail.com or you can message me through Divine44 on my Facebook page. I love and appreciate you all. Stay balanced and stay whole. Mwah.